Hey folks, just wanted to do another real quick video on a easy solution for a common problem. Uh, this one is putting the ZWO electronic automatic focuser, the ZWO EF, onto a Skywatcher Esprit 100. Uh, these instructions will work for both the 100, 120, and 150. Um, I have it all the way assembled here. It's actually very, very simple. Uh, there's lots of information on the forums on YouTube uh, that is kind of incomplete as of today, but <clears throat> uh, it's real easy. So here I have the ZWO Takahashi bracket. Uh, the newer version is actually wider. Uh, there were some complaints in the beginning that it was too narrow uh, to fit onto the focuser for the Esprit line. Uh, but the new one, which the old one should pretty much be out of stock by, by now. Any one that you buy should be the new wider version. Uh, will fit here no problem. So these four screws, uh, the ones underneath here, are what hold the focuser onto the tube body. Uh, you don't want to mess with any of these other screws. Uh, leave those alone. On the coarse side of the focuser, you have the fine knob, coarse knob, and there's another coarse knob over here. Uh, there's a small hole in here that if you rotate the knob, you have access to the Allen screw uh, that holds the focuser knob onto the focuser uh, shaft. So you can unscrew that, pop the focuser knob off, and then you take your flexible coupler, slide it in there, use the same hole to tighten the two screws, uh, and then you have your coupler attached. Uh, again, this is the Takahashi bracket. Uh, these two screws you can remove completely, and you're going to replace them with 35 millimeter M4 socket cap screws. That 35 millimeters is important because, as you can see, these on this side are sunk down in there. They're about 20 millimeters long. You need an additional 15 in order to secure the Takahashi bracket to the focuser body. I got these at Home Depot. There's some extra ones, they're $1.17. M4 35 millimeter socket cap screws, no problem. So your DIY shop, if you are elsewhere than the US or any of your hardware supply stores should have those or you can order them online, uh, but it's quite simple. Take these two screws out on this side, replace them with the socket cap screws. I have a washer on here for additional stability, <clears throat> but it'll go in just fine. One thing I did notice, you may have to loosen these a bit just to make sure that the focuser body sits flush so it can access these gears. No problem at all. Screw them back in. Make sure your draw tube works before you connect the EF because you can't move the motor at that point and you are good to go. Uh, just attached it per the instructions after that. Very easy. And what I'll do is I'll flip this around and give you some tips on setting it up. Okay, as you can see, we have the thing flipped over. Uh, you got some graduated lines here on the draw tube. Uh, these will go from zero to about eight and a half or nine. Uh, what I did when I put my EF on, I had it pretty close to zero, uh, making sure that I was getting the flat part of the uh, the drive motor up against the coupler, uh, the where the screw is for the coupler. Um, so it was right around zero. I just went ahead and set my focus or my motor position to zero at that point in my software. Uh, I use an ASIR Pro, but it's the same for any other software. So set that portion when it's back here to zero run it all the way out to about eight and a half, and then mark that position as your max. And then your focuser will stay between those two so you don't hit the hard stop uh, either all the way in or all the way out. Uh, my focus point here is right around the six. Uh, so I just brought it out to that focus point and I was good to go. Ran the auto autofocus routine and everything was great. Um, I do, just like the other video, I do recommend that you focus your telescope first without the EFON so that you know where that focus point is. It's a, a lot faster to just move the knob manually in order to find that really small focus point for your telescope. Uh, and then I knew where it was so that when I installed the EF, ran it out right to that position and I'm, and I'm done. So really very simple. There's no dremeling, no drilling, no crazy things you need to do with any of the, um, the mounting brackets. Uh, the Takahashi bracket from ZWO worked just fine. 